According to a study by the National Trust, one in five of us apparently descend from Britain's aristocracy. Yes, ooh. Yes, it's true. However, research into family trees also points out that while some of us may discover we're from glamorous ancestry, others will find they come from more humble beginnings and are actually related to people like the butler, the footman or the chambermaid. That will probably be me. Uh, so, ladies, have you looked into this? Do you, have you always imagined that you were quite posh? Do you care about your roots and where you came from? I, I never used to. I was not interested at all um you know i know a couple of people who spend hours on the internet looking up their ancestors and relatives and and trying to plot their little family tree and i just thought oh how boring i don't care it doesn't make any difference but then somebody um somebody did a little family tree for me just on my mum's side and um i found out from that that uh my we we are descendants of uh, norfolk cheesemongers <laughs> cheesemongers and, and then nothing suddenly nothing wrong with a bit I, of cheesemongering <laughs> nothing wrong with that but I got I suddenly got really really interested in it and and the guy who did it for me he then did um my my dad's side and I found out some really really interesting stuff like my great 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 grandfather was a master of a workhouse in in Ireland like Mr Bumble <laughs> so yeah I, mean, I, I wasn't interested but I really am now and I want to get the other side done now because well, I've always been interested because and I can say it now because um, I've written my autobiography and I've come out of the closet. Um, <laughs> oh, I'm adopted. Right. <laughs> no, I'm adopted. Oh. And um, I, I never did it when my parents were alive because with, out of respect for them. But that's why I, I've... And I felt very much that there was something missing. I have to say I didn't think I was aristocracy. I think, you know, people, people are either racehorses or Shetland ponies and I was more <laughs> of a Shetland pony. But um, I, I, I knew something was missing and I think one of the things that I write about in the book is about being adopted is that you you want to please everybody and it gives you this drive and and I always thought through my youth people would say they thought I thought I was Jewish actually at one point I, and I found out that I was Welsh Presbyterian half American possibly American mm. Native Indian so that's <laughs> blown all that down the window so I'm still discovering it all even the, uh, over the last 20 years I've learnt a lot mm. and met my real mum but you had, you had a, a very loving Yes, family, I didn't do it because I wasn't so, happy and yeah. I really think nature and nurture, are, it's a very interesting thing because my parents were just amazing. I couldn't have survived the way I have with the things that have happened to me without my parents. Mm. And when I met my real mother, it's very, it's very interesting what you're expecting. I just remember standing in this airport looking for, well, I suppose I must have been looking for me. Mm. And then up came this little white-haired old lady and... Uh, of course, for me, it was very odd. I was meeting a stranger for her. She said the floodgates opened. She'd had to give mm. me up because I was illegitimate. Of, of all her maternal instincts just burst open, and I couldn't deal with it's that. It's better now, though, that you yes, I do. That yes, out I've because you're the keeping circle. it all to yourself. Yeah. Oh, for oh years. I'm, it's amazing now. What I, I find fascinating about what you're saying is that you always felt that something was missing. Yeah. I, I didn't know my dad. I was illegitimate as well in the 60s, and I, and I had a fantastic mum. I still have a fantastic mum and fantastic grandparents, and I didn't feel like anything was missing at all. I just didn't, didn't even go there. I mean, I, never, I didn't really have anything that triggered my imagination in terms of photos of my father. I mean, we never spoke about him, so I never really thought about it, and I thought to go there might be in some way disloyal to my mum. But later on, you know, in life I had Bo, and then Bo was saying, why have I not got any granddads because Paul's father passed away? Uh, and I didn't have any answers. So, I, you know, we were watching that, that, that um, Who Do You Think, think you, are you Are show with Kim Cottrell. And three years ago, we'd found an address for my father. So we, we decided to, to track him down for a laugh. You know, just for a giggle, not thinking I would feel anything at all. And uh, so we went off there and, and then, cut a long story short, um, I discovered this man who um, gave me a photograph of himself and I've subsequently met him a few times. And the feeling I got when I got the photograph of him, because I'd never had one, didn't think I missed it, just, I suddenly felt completely whole. I felt all warm and fuzzy inside and so secure. So you've never, you've never felt that something was missing until, until you found I, it. Until I didn't realise there was a, there was there was something lacking mm. until I actually put the the final piece in the jigsaw and it just made such a difference to my psychology. Mm. Um, so yeah, I, I do I do think it's important to know where you you come from. And now you both do, which yeah. is good. So the, the final piece of the jigsaw has gone in. I, I've never felt the need. I mean, I've got a very tiny family, very loving, stable family, so I've never had that burning desire. I mean, I know about grandparents and great parents, yeah. but I've never gone further than that. I just can't be bothered to do it, really. Yeah, yeah but so, if someone did it, you, if someone would, did it you, would, for be, you would become interested. Yeah. I'm sure you would. I'm sure you yeah. would. I'm sure you'd be royalty. Yeah. Who do I think <laughs> I am? Lord knows. <laughs> and have you looked...
looked into your ancestry, we'd love to hear from you. Share your story on the topics page on our brand new website. While you're there, you may also want to check out the behind-the-scenes footage and get all the backstage